Action 10 is helping a disabled Corpus Christi man get a specially equipped pickup truck back and running. Yeah, good story here. Just moments after our story aired at 6 o'clock, a viewer reached out to us on Facebook wanting to help that man out. Our Seth Kovar got the two together over the phone and he is now live in the studio. So what is this viewer going to do for this guy? Well, get this. She's paying half of the $250 deductible that Robert Gutierrez will have to pay to get his truck fixed. Someone hit it in the parking lot of the HEB in Annaville Friday and drove off without even leaving a note. After hearing about that during our 6 o'clock newscast, viewer Catherine Mejia says she knew she had to do something. To the person that did it, you know, karma has its way of coming around and paying you back. For Robert Gutierrez, payback would mean money for repairs from the person who hit his truck and an apology. That could still happen, but already he's benefiting from someone paying it in the opposite direction. I've had a lot of help throughout my years, and it's really important for me to pay that forward. Catherine Mejia saw Robert's story on Action 10 News at 6. As soon as I saw the story air, I went on Facebook, messaged, and you called me literally within seconds. Seconds later, she was on the phone with Robert, offering to pay $125 of the $250 deductible he owes. I don't think he had enough words to truly describe what he was feeling, but we know that it's going to help him. The Mejias aren't rich. We're actually a military family. Uh, my husband's a United States Marine stationed here. But they still give back. We do a lot to help the community. A community she shares with Robert, who she's happy to help. I wanted him to know that there's good people out there, and although the person that hit him is obviously not good. But to Robert, a good apology from the hit-and-run driver would go a long way. Even if they would have just stuck around, if they didn't have insurance, hey, I'm sorry, I apologize, but not even like that. Now, Robert's been in that wheelchair since 2004 when a wreck paralyzed him from the chest down and killed his son. His truck has special hand controls that allow him to drive on his own. The repairs should be finished next Friday, and he now has half of the payment he'll have to make taken care of. Reporting live in the studio, Seth Kovar, Action 10 News.